Guys and girls, this is joining me. Here. Mark D O N talks about renewed UFO investigating. Uh, Nick Poe, Mark, has been news C B I L T, has been USB. Let's put the news on anyway. <laughs> So it is time for Mark Meets, in which I speak to the biggest names in the world of politics, sport, showbiz and beyond. Tonight, is there anybody out there? Are UFOs observing us? Are there alien life forms? Is a superior species about to take over planet Earth? Let's be honest, <laughs> we could do with their help. Let's speak to Britain's foremost UFO investigator, the world-renowned Nick Pope who worked at the Ministry of Defence, where he was responsible for investigating potential alien aircraft and extraterrestrial life. Uh, Nick Pope, welcome to Mark Dolan tonight. Thanks, Mark. Great to be on the show. Great to have you on the show. Nick, what is the definition of a UFO? <laughs> simply something in the skies that can't be identified so obviously a lot of that is going to turn out to be misidentifications of things and as we're seeing literally today in the news some of this is going to be chinese spy balloons and perhaps other adversarial reconnaissance devices gathering espionage but some seems to be something else and that's why nasa is doing a study into it and uh, the pentagon too Indeed. I mean, look, in the 1960s, if you're in a farm in Iowa, if you see something flashing in the sky, that's a story, isn't it? Now, the problem we have now is drone technology. That must make it harder to spot UFOs. It does, but on the other hand, our technology is getting better and better. We have space tracking radar systems uh, in parallel with all the, the military and air traffic control radars. We have satellites. Uh, and, and so, and intelligence community imagery analysts able to, to uh, you know, interpret what we're seeing. So, so we have some tools at our disposal as well to help us with all this. Um, and you can help us. It's a very, very we good start time seeing UFOs in the UK the show, next. Uh, because we've got this breaking news story. Uh, our brilliant news reader, Bethany Elsie, was reporting this. Uh, the US has shot down in, I think, just the last few hours, an unknown object the size of a small car after it entered airspace near Alaska. The incident took place just days after fighter jets shot down a suspected Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina, as you mentioned. Uh, do you know anything more about this story? Can you give us your analysis? Well, I just watched the Pentagon press conference about this, and they were, they were being fairly cagey, as you'd expect. One thing, though, clearly, they know more than that they're letting on. And, and the reason we know that, it's, it's a, you know, a fair assumption, is that you don't use lethal force unless you have a pretty good idea what it is you're shooting at. Uh, so e even if they don't know what it is yet, they certainly know what it isn't. I mean, it's not going to be a manned craft of any type, terrestrial or other. Indeed. Um, what do we know about this uh, Chinese balloon? Uh, can we say definitively that it was spying on the West? Yes, I, I think we can. Uh, again, some of the details are classified, but it seems clear that what it was trying to do was to locate and then intercept uh, various U.S. communications devices. Now, it's not yet clear whether that was mobile telephones or which i think is more likely military systems uh, and, and again we we won't get to hear the full story on this because a lot of it is highly classified but none of this takes away from from the wider debate about whether there's life out there i, I mean even if some of these things do turn out to be chinese spy uh, devices you know there are many scientists who now believe that we're not alone and that's why in the new defense bill recently passed in the u.s there are multiple ufo related provisions that will for example allow people who've been involved in these sorts of programs uh, to speak out to congress and, and to set aside their non-disclosure agreements and their secrecy oaths so this is all exciting times Yes, these UFOs are perhaps not as far-fetched as they might seem. Barack Obama has spoken about UFOs that were investigated whilst he was president, and he uh, absolutely was crystal clear he did not rule out the existence of UFOs. 
That's right. And, and President Trump, too. So this is not even a party political issue. All, various past presidents have spoken about this, various former CIA directors, uh, a former director of national intelligence here in the U.S., where I now live. Uh, so there's, there's lots going on, for sure, and a lot of serious people saying, look, this, this is not just all misidentification, hoax, and delusion. Uh, this is something real. It's been tracked on radar. It's been filmed on forward-looking infrared cameras mounted on some of our military jets. For the first time ever, we've got the technology to get to the bottom of this uh, mystery, and we've now got the will, I think, to set aside the ridicule and to say, Whatever's going on, it's real and it's a serious defense and national security issue. Now, let's uh, get to brass tacks, Nick. Do people who claim to see UFOs see them because they want to see them, because it's glamorous and their lives are rather dull? I don't think so, because a lot of the people I've spoken to, both when I was doing this for the Ministry of Defense and subsequently, uh, would really rather they hadn't had these sorts of experiences, often because it, it kind of takes their worldview and it, it flips it. So, so I don't think so. And, and these people, by the way, are from all walks of life. UFO witnesses I've spoken to in, include military personnel, pilots, police officers, but just or ordinary men and women in the street, you know, just, just seeing something. Sometimes people are thrilled, sometimes they're scared, most times they're just intrigued and want some answers from the authorities. How much of UFO sightings is down to drunkenness or drug use? <laughs> a, a tiny, tiny proportion, to be, to be frank, because, you know, look, a lot of this isn't just visual sightings. I mean, I mentioned earlier, a lot of what's really exciting people now about this is that people, pilots are seeing them while simultaneously tracking them on radar. Satellites too, though again, that's a, a very highly classified uh, area. We just had another report, by the way, on this from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence here in the US. They didn't talk about the satellite data, but we know it exists. And, and in Britain too, the, the, um, the facility at RAF Filingdales in Yorkshire is, is certainly a place which can help uh, get to the bottom of the UF mystery, the UFO mystery. The, the, the space tracking radar systems there are integral to this. This is now a science problem. Yeah, sure, a couple of people coming out of the pub might occasionally see UFOs, and that's fun, uh, but there's a serious side to it. Uh, and uh, if there is extraterrestrial life, if there are these UFOs, do they wish us harm? Are they smarter than us? To get here, they are orders of magnitude smarter. I mean, we're, we're just taking little baby steps with our space program. True interstellar travel uh, is, is technology that at the moment for us is, is indistinguishable from magic. So if they wanted to wipe us out, they could, which is hopeful because it suggests if we are being visited, they're coming here as scientists and, and anthropologists to study humanity, to discover uh, new life and new civilizations, as they say, but to come here yeah. to, to look at us. Now, with some of the things going on, maybe that's not so good, but I think we, we do have our, our high points too. We, we have art and literature and, and all sorts of human achievement, and I hope that would be of interest to technologically advanced civilizations out there in the cosmos. Yeah, and we've got Monster Munch as well, and uh, Phil Collins, you know, so we're, we're, we're punching our way. Um, look, I've only got a couple of seconds left. Um, we've spoken before. You don't necessarily believe in UFOs yourself, do you? So briefly, if you can, what is your verdict? Is there life out there? Life out there, 100%. Visiting us, I don't know, but I sure hope so. Life with aliens would be far more interesting. Well, there we go. What do you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, think about this? See you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.